Hearts. Mr. Giles here, welcome to episode 21 of my Let's Play Hearts Fire 3 United Kingdom series. Um, I don't really know what to say right now. Um, I wasn't expecting to record an episode today, I didn't think I'd have enough time, but it turns out I do. Um, and then we have some great news. Um, Britain has its first Grand Slam winner in 76 years because of Andy Murray. Um, he won the US Open against Novak Djokovic, absolutely brilliant match. Um, unfortunately we couldn't watch it because it was on Sky, um, so, well, mm, yeah, well we, we, we listened to it on the radio until 2 o'clock in the morning, which I think is the sound of a dedicated Murray fan. Um, yeah, it's absolutely great, I'm absolutely psyched up, I can't believe he did it. Um, right, anyway, to the game. Um, now, I should probably outline exactly what's happening right now. Um, my play is pretty shitty right now. Um, and the reason for that really is I'm, I know that I'm not going to be, I don't want to be occupied in, um, in Malaya, in, you know, in, in the Indochina for long, really. I want to, I want to move on. I want to get to, uh, Hong Kong and Haiku and everywhere and on, on to Taiwan eventually, uh, that's where I want to be. Uh, I'm very confused at this battle. Um, as far as I can tell, uh, okay, so here we go. They're sallying out with just transport. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry. I said I was going to explain what's happening. I haven't really successfully explained what's happening. Uh, you must be getting used to this in my episodes. I just sort of say stuff and then it doesn't really make sense. Uh, then later on I might explain or I might not, depending on exactly what mood I'm in. Um, Last, the end of the last session, this fleet, this last fleet, I really think, um, the, which is the last fleet of the Jap Japanese, um, two carriers and one CVL, um, and a few carrier, uh, a few cruisers, um, escorted quite a number of, uh, transports, um, we're carrying what is probably the remnant of the Imperial Japanese Army as well, um, down to, um, and they landed at Kamra, which is totally undefended by me because I wasn't really intending on really sticking around in Indochina. Uh, but now, of course, I don't have a choice. Um, I'm sending off uh, the first battle fleet to help out this battle in Hong Kong, and I'm not really sure what's going on, to be honest. This, my uh, armor division is based in Hong Kong, so is their infantry division. It represents it as if they are attacking me. I'm extremely confused as to what's happening there. Uh, um, I, I'm hoping I'm not going to lose that armor division. Uh, in other news, Japan is making a big, big move on uh, Australia. Uh, they've taken Papua New Guinea. Uh, you can see here that Australia is attempting to retake Port Moresby, uh, but certainly the Japanese have been making progress in this theater. This is an odd attack, really, by the Japanese, because they must be fully aware that every single province they advance also ironically puts them further into danger, because the chances of them becoming cut off, um... Chances, yes, the chances of them getting cut off, um... and, uh, you know, and destroyed is, is going to increase as, um, as they move out into, uh, Indochina. Uh, we're not going to. We're going to land these people here. Uh, I know I'm not organising into cores or anything. It's very bad play by me. Um, okay, we got. We're being engaged again by this fleet. Uh, as far as I can tell, however, their um, their uh, carrier air groups aren't even in play anymore. I think I'm not even sure they're even fight right like, worthy um, of combat. You can see here, though, their ships are in a poor, poor state. Um, they're starting to use um, combat ships now, and they are fleeing out towards my battle fleet. Where's my transports? Where are my transports? Okay, they're fine. This will be interesting. Bang! Oh, they did alright, actually. One ship damage repulse and nothing. Um, and they do have a battleship here, but it's one battleship against two and three heavy, three battle cruisers. So my plan, as I've already sort of in 
insinuated slightly, uh, will be to take this sort of port rich area of um, of, uh, of China, uh, seizing the airbase in Hanoi, um, and of course taking Gangzhou as well, uh, and then moving on to Taiwan, Okinawa, uh, Kyushu, I think that is, and then the one beginning with S, and then the main island. Uh, I don't think once I'm on the islands, it should not. They shouldn't have too much of a difficulty. Um, you can see here that I'm engaging a, an enemy carrier fleet with um, uh, with a uh, sorry with a battle fleet. Um, obviously, this won't sink their carriers because they'll be out of range, 53 kilometers. Uh, but what will happen is that their their big their big gunships, what's left of them, will come forward to target uh, our ships. Um, and this will erode, further erode their organisation. Uh, this is an interesting battle. I, I have a feeling we're going to win this one. Um, what is really important is that I don't let those carriers slip the net as such. Um, obviously you can see that they're the, the anything escorting those carriers is just staying out of range now. Um, we, won't be able, we won't succeed in engaging them. Um, right. We need to contain their advance north. Um, I'm concerned I oh, know, not you guys. Whoa! What? That is weird. Oh, I must have done a course of that. Something like that, anyway. I don't know how that happened. I didn't mean to do that. Um. Send in the Marines. If they get too far north, then it's at least just going to be a pain for me to uh, finish them off. My um, uh, my second carrier fleet isn't damaged as such. It's in the um, carrier air groups aren't fully aren't fully operational, and these are being bombed. I think. We should win the Battle of Hong Kong. Just about. I don't like this. This this, this situation is they have a awful lot more troops here than I would like. Um, I just hope we can finish these bloody carriers. Because if we can't, then uh, well, things are going to get sticky. I was very, uh, very sacrificed and very some positioning there. I'm going to take a gamble that they're heading in this direction. Waiting for these ships to finally get sunk, and they're just not dying. They lost a carrier, but I lost one. Now we've got to make it. The other, now we've got to kill the other two. Um, and the Japanese definitely are living up to their reputation as people that don't ever, ever give up. At the right now, um, these divisions are just going to take immediately down to um, over to Haiku. Um, Hopefully they can sort of stabilise the situation over there. Have I even got them? Sorry. I'll let you watch that battle, I just want to give these guys the, that order. Go. Oh no. Sorry. I said I was going to let you watch it. Well they lost uh, Maggie, was it? I think they've already lost a Kagi. Um, so. This battle is not looking good right now. I don't see why I can't retreat either. Right, so we finally finished that fleet off. Um, those carriers are are down. They 
expect I've got there gone forever. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll see, you know, never know how things do work out in Hearts of Iron in the end. I need to get these guys out, that's my priority. And also to close this. This pocket of horribleness. Well, we've retaken Hong Kong. It's been a long time since we were last in Hong Kong. If we retreat back to uh, Hong Kong, we should have a relatively strong position. Um, is that one one battleship? We'll see if we can catch that last battleship, the IJN. Fuzo. Um, can't tell that. I can't remember if that's recalled that's a modern ship or not. Anyway, they lost it. Um, yeah, the IJN is really in a bad state right now. Um, if, they, if they don't pull something amazing off, uh, I don't see them recovering from this. Ever, to be honest. Oh, we'll chuck our marines in. This is a, uh, there is a river crossing, but they are marines, so I hope they will do okay. And we'll put our uh, multi-rolls on ground attack. Again, the stacking penalty will be horrific, but not right now. Um, so I, what I'd really need to do, really, is just focus on cleaning up the mess I've left, because I, I really... Like, genuinely, I haven't been playing well, like, this game at all. Um, I've done some things well, like, but generally, overall, no, not really. And I'm running out of supplies, and not good at all. I'm just very wary of what the Soviets are going to feel now. It's 1942, the Soviets are going to have an, an almighty force. Um, I'm not worried about the Red Navy at all. I'm pretty confident I can take on that. Um, as the the force I have dedicated to the invasion of um, Japan is is an army's worth. Uh, so that's five five times five. Um, uh, 5, 25, 25 divisions perhaps. Um, yes, 25 divisions. Um, plus, of course, the uh, Royal Marine Corps and one of our, uh, the Armoured Corps we seem to have down here. Um, so, that's quite a massive force, probably about 30 divisions, to be honest, 35 divisions maybe. And I'm just sort of letting it all go crazy right now. This is still supplied from Colombo. It's such a long way away. This is not going to be an easy series. Well, it's not, it's not going to be a difficult series as battle. It's just not going to be as easy as we'd like. I'm not sure how long today's episode can be. Um, I am a little bit busy. As I said, I didn't think I'd have any time for recording, but I have ended up with time for recording, so that's quite amazing in itself. Um, August 1942. I mean, whoever thought then or that Great Britain could turn this around in 1942 by 1942? Now, apparently, I still occupied quite a large swathe of Poland, but maybe we'll 
Yeah, we'll forget that. The first army in the south, um, I haven't really bothered to deploy it quite yet. But we will, eventually. Hmm. I'm just going to send my assorted random stuff back to Colombo, just get it out of here. No, I thought I just saw a naval unit here. Um, I hope I didn't. These sort of random units in uh, Siam are frustrating me. And I'm trying to think of a way that I can deal with those. Uh, the best way to deal with them would be to bring Siam into the war. Um, thus, eliminating the, thus eliminating the passage that Japan currently has through Japanese... Through Siam, Siam, Siamese territory. But... Um, I don't know. That might also cause more problems than it solves. I don't even know where my HQs are, to be honest. It's all... Look, look at this mess. It's terrible. Well, we finished some transports, which is good news. That will make the journey back from um, Southeast Asia much easier. You've noticed I'm not really bothering where I attack this province from, and that's because ultimately it makes no difference to me, um, seeing as, well, it's going to be an annoying battle anyway. Um, seeing as all, all possible directions are actually... Um, are oh, covered by rivers. I do wonder where this division is trying to run to. There's nothing down there. I wish I was playing slightly better really now. I, like if I'd kept things in better order then I um, wouldn't be having quite the same difficulties as I am right now. Well it's not exactly difficulties, they're just sort of imperfections as such. And I am a, a quite a bit of a perfectionist, so I dislike imperfections thoroughly. of the Japanese Navy there. Does anyone even know what happens to my reserve carrier fleet? That'd be interesting. I can't remember where it went. I'm going to send some units back to Europe. Because um, I don't think I'm really using them at the moment. I'm a little bit concerned about the invasion of uh, the Soviet Union. Uh, also, am I seriously concerned about this? Like, generally, if you set everything to need, everything is fine. You actually exceed um, supply and production normally. Um, but this time, it seems to be different for some reason. be a great encirclement opportunity here. 
Well, we'll need to uh, set the groundwork first, so we can't do it quite yet. No, 13th core is... No. No, no. Well, I'm not certain what to do. Yes, yeah, right, try and make a pointless attack to break out. Well, we might as well just absolutely overwhelm them with everything we have. Yeah, so right. Hmm. It's interesting what they're doing right now, the Japanese. It's not exactly a great strategy. Um. Don't go on then. third army group and fourth army group now have totally different armies under their control and I don't really seem that to be necessary anymore. Finally getting the initiative in this battle. <laughs> Feel free to absolutely criticise my play at the moment. I haven't even bothered to keep my order of battle together. Uh, which I, when I'm under stress, like I, you know, I try so hard to do. But right now, I don't deem it to be overly necessary, to be honest. Yeah, so the, this, these two stacks of infantry and stuff, right now, um, are not only extremely vulnerable um, to whatever, really, but they are also just very oddly positioned. Uh, I mean, they don't even bother to cover the front, which is all along here. Um, they're just sort of concentrating their forces in massive stacks, uh, which is why I'm sort of preparing to mount an encirclement. Because I'm thinking, if I can move around these forces, um, then ultimately, um, I'm just going to take some better IC provinces before, not infrastructure provinces before I do so, um, then ultimately they've lost another huge chunk of men. Um, I'm just very surprised by the Japanese. Still managing somehow to uh, to protect their convoys to find enough escorts. Oh, look at that! There is the big battle we're all talking about. Nine thousand men lost. Um, I really don't think my manpower is really quite high enough um, to sustain everything right now. I, uh, I'm going to just send a massive clusterfuck down to Saigon, and um, then I can reorganise everything. I'll take four divisions, and just in case the Japanese try anything stupid, we'll um, send one to Zhangjing. Sorry, I didn't do that quite right. Well, Hong Kong is going to be British again. Hmm. 
this is just HQ. It's very strange what I'm seeing right now. I'm going to send my this carrier fleet back to Saigon. There's a division still down here, by the way, I'm sure of it. Somewhere. So, um, I, I am, I'm really sorry guys, I'm absolutely struggling for things to say. Um, um, there's a new Steam community out, that looks pretty nice. Um, I like the discussion sort of game board things. Uh, I've been sort of saying quite a lot of stuff on the uh, Heart of Iron Game Hub, I think is what they call it, um, at the moment. I tend to try and be helpful when it comes to stuff like that anyway, but um, I don't know, I just like Steam as a medium as opposed to the, the forum, um, because I find the forum to be ten times as, as, you know, as intimidating, um, which I know is a stupid thing to say really, considering it's probably the same people that are asking the same questions uh, on both uh, at both places. Oh, holy shit. No, see, this is funny. This is what is odd about Japan. Um, they are so at risk. Their home islands are at risk right now. Um, but they're still managing to find the uh, the ability to punch Australia into submission. Yeah, we'll take Ireland transit rights. What's going on? Okay, it's fine. First person to carry the carrier fleet wins. I can't remember I sent it. Let's find out. So this is now under this jurisdiction of the Bombay HQ, which is a bit odd. Whoa, this is just messed up. Must be hiding that last problem. Oh, I've actually lost my mind, and there is no fleet. Oh, here we are. Come oh, on, Australia. We're on our way. Australia isn't weak, it's just... They could probably contain this invasion pretty well. Um, it's just they they have to have some kind of fleet to support this operation. And I wonder what it is. And here come the HQs. Sending the fleet back to Alexandria. Just to, um. Well, my fleets will be handy for when I'm um, supporting, when I'm invading the Soviet Union, will be, um. naval support, and I will place them in sea zones, um, in the Baltic, in the Black Sea, maybe even the Arctic Sea, um. in order to provide the shore bombardment bonus. very intrigued as to what Japan's plan is right here. If we sit still and let them encircle us, then we'll win.
actually. We know where they're flying from. They're flying from here. Now these units seem in very poor supply. Whoa! Japan is a fan of stacks, aren't they? They really are. No, there's no need to send two divisions to do that, actually. I somehow don't get the impression that they're about to attack us. Um, you know, try and be a little bit proactive in the slightest. No, USA, you can't have bloody debt. Not unless you join me. Then you can. Operating without scouts. This is a um, risky move. I think that's how you describe it. steals an Australian supply for a bit. I'm not going to come to the support of um, Australia directly, actually, because um, ultimately, whilst Japan is occupied here, um, you know, they aren't occupied fighting me. Oh, nice, an 84% attacking penalty. This would be fun. Maybe I'll try to break out now. Naturally, that would happen. Yeah, go on, have a go at this. This would be fun. I'll keep one infantry in place. Um, Oh, I can even send these in to give shore bombardment, can't I? <laughs> That's a pretty big penalty, 75 to 75% there. Right. Okay, guys, you can attack that province. Pity it's an urban province, this is going to make a job quite difficult for my armour. At least this will suck, suck their organisation. Is that Yamamoto? Oh no, that's just the name. That's just the guy. It's not the, the ship. Subs are letting me down. Well, I'm going to go, guys. Um, I hope you. I know this, is, this episode has been relatively inconclusive, but uh, unfortunately, you do have to have those kind of episodes every so often. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't been playing great. I'll rectify the situation when I um, when I invade the Soviet Union, you know, and Japan itself. It's just that this, everything is a bit of a mess. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you soon. Bye.